Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Loma Tycoon 2 episode. Before we get started, gotta call it out at the very beginning. For some reason, it just works. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on this video. Well, let's get these views up. Let's let's do let's do a billion views, or the curse of the King Tut will rain down upon nothing because it's not real. Um, so, as the title of the video says, um, divorce. Now this is something, it's a very touchy subject for a lot of people, and I feel like my channel being honest and true to its word, I can talk about these things because it's something that needs to be discussed, it's something that needs to be addressed, and I don't want to sugarcoat it, okay? It's, it's divorce, and it's a very, it's an adult topic. So why is it that a divorce would be something that you would wouldn't want to discuss with children or kids, but marriage is something that you do discuss with children or kids. I mean, they're one and the same, except one is the joining and the other is the separation. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Before I go too far, no, me and my wife are not getting a divorce. <laughs> I just thought about that. A lot of people are like, no code. Um, no. The, the the topic of today is going to be separation and divorce because there's a lot of families out there who have one parent homes. There's a lot of families out there for multiple reasons. They only have a singular parent or maybe they have adoptive parents. Maybe you have two dads or maybe you have two moms. The thing is, there's a lot of discussion to be had for divorce and it's something that should be openly talked about and openly discussed. Um, and the reason for that is, the statistic, as far as I know, for 2019, it was 50% of all marriages end in a divorce. Like that's, that's a high percentage for so many people. And to not discuss it, to not bring it up is ignorant. No offense. To, to not talk about it is, is, it's not being human. It's, it's infeasible. So, <clears throat> for anybody who doesn't know, when two parents or when two people love each other very much, they make a commitment to each other and they get married. They make a, a commitment to say, hey, I'm going to be with you until I die. And that's that's in, in certain ways. There's some religions, there's some cultures who believe in uh, multiple wives, multiple husbands. We're not here to judge. We're not here to pass anything. We're here to talk about... What happens when two couples fall apart? What happens when divorce happens? Because there's there's a lot of people who are confused. Well, don't you love them anymore? Well, yes. For anybody I've ever talked to and they've been separated or they, they got a divorce, nine out of 10 times, they still love their partner. They still love the person that they are getting a divorce from. So you ask the guy, do you love her? Yeah, why why are you getting divorced then? She's crazy. I can't I can't live with her anymore. I just, I can't go through this. That's one of the biggest things that needs to be talked about. If you're if you're going to get married, you're making a huge commitment to another person, another human being. You're saying, "Hey, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I want to be your best friend." And they should be. Like, yes, they're your wife or they're your husband, but they're also your best friend because you're going to be spending every waking moment with them. They're, they are there for you. You are there for them. For everything. And I know it gets religious, and I don't like talking about religion. And I will I will come out and admit, I am a Christian. I will say that 100% and, like, there. But I'm not going to take and shove my religion down your face. I'm gonna like, ah, be Christian, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not up to me to whether or not you are a Christian, okay? And it's not up to this channel to try and come up with some ultimatum of, of rightness and wrongness. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna let you live your life and say, I love you and I, I, I accept you for who you are. For whatever religion you choose, whatever decisions you make, I love you just the way you are. Because you're human. You're just like me. You're just like everybody that's on this channel. And I, I want that to be known, okay? So before we go further, I'm a Christian and I don't care what religion you are or if you have a religion at all. We're not gonna talk about it. That's that's it. So, <sighs> divorce is, is a, 
very harsh word. It's like, it's, mm. but at the same time, I know a lot of relationships, they're bad. They're bad from the get-go. They're, they were bad to begin with, or the person just didn't see something that was wrong in the relationship to begin with. But at the same time, a lot of people think divorce shouldn't happen. It's a bad thing. It's just horrible. No, there's certain times that I will absolutely agree with a divorce. I will say, you know what? You're you're totally right. That that relationship is toxic for each other and it needs to end. And there's multiple things where we could talk about um darker subject. I won't I won't go into it, but I will say that like me and my wife We've talked about what we would do if we ever got separated. If for any reason we fell out of love. I mean, I still love my wife. Absolutely. She's still my best friend. I, I want to wake up and hang out with her on the daily basis. Now, sometimes she is annoying, right? And she nags me. But guess what? She also motivates me. If it weren't for her and the kids, you know, that's my motivation to get up and go do things in the day. That's the motivation to come out here and record a video to come out here and take some time to myself because I've been with them all day long and they encouraged me to do so. They said, go, go record, go take some time, go play. Even if you don't record anything, go play something. That's a good relationship, I think, in my mind, you know? Um, today we had to go, um, she had a broken tooth, like her, her tooth broke and she's been complaining about it for months, right? And Today, she said, when do I ever have time for myself? I mean, I've got to do this work. Um, I've I got to get this work done. The kids have got school to do, this, that, and the other. And I said, you know what? You need to call. You need to call the dentist right now and, and make an appointment. And she says, I don't have time. And at that moment, you know what? I picked up the phone. I dialed the, the dentist that I last went to for, for my tooth. You guys remember when my tooth was hurt? Dialed him up said, hey, I thought you guys were closed today. And they're like, no, we're, we came in on, on this Tuesday um, and it's one Tuesday out of the month that they actually were open. Um, normally they're only open like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Called them up and said, hey, do you have anything open? And they're like, yeah, we got a two o'clock appointment. You guys want to come in there? And I'm just like, yeah, let's do it. So we went in today and um, asked her what, what she wanted to do. Did she want to get it pulled or she want to uh, try and get it capped and crowned and stuff like that? She said, nope, I just want to get it pulled and, and done with. I said, okay. So we got her tooth pulled today. Um, on the, like, as we were getting ready to go to the dentist, the kids are like, yay, we're going to the dentist. We don't have to do homework. I said, nuh uh. You know what? You are staying here and you're going to do your homework. You're going to get it done. They're like, what? And it was this all of a sudden shock. I'm like, you two are old enough that you can stay here for two hours while we go take care of your mom. And during that time, I expect you to get your homework done. The look of shock on their face is like, we, we have to stay here? I'm like, yeah, you have cell phones on you. You have my number. I have uh, cameras turned on all throughout the house. I mean, I, I, you're good. If there's anything that goes wrong or if you need anything, call me. You know what? They did need me while, while we were gone. Um, Hope needed to know how to download the new Minecraft server onto her computer and get it set up. And you know what? We, she called me and I walked her through it. I showed her how to get her IP address, how to bind to the different port that she needed, and everything was fine. We took time for my wife. I made time for my wife. The kids, guess what? They got their homework done. Um, her boss, guess what? He just had to wait a little bit. And then when she was done and, and back, made sure that she had her medication, made sure that the, the, everybody was fed, right back into normal life. It only takes a little bit of effort to make something really big happen for your spouse or for, for the person that you love, for your mom, for your dad, for anybody, you know? It takes... A little effort and the same thing can be said about marriage okay there's there's a lot to be said about putting forth effort into a marriage 
into and I don't want to just say marriage because a lot of people they they come together as a couple and they don't get married there's there's a couple that I know that have been together for 22 years and never been married now most states a lot of states have this thing called common law which means if you're together with a person and living in the same household for over a certain amount of time you're considered married and can actually claim on taxes and stuff I don't know which states those are I'm not gonna get into the details but you're still making a, a very serious commitment to each other, you know? And that takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time and love to make happen. That's not to say that people who get separated don't love each other. That's not to say that people who get a divorce didn't fall out of love. It happens. We're human. Lives change, you know? and. I'm not going to put myself above any of that, you know? Maybe my wife doesn't want me to do YouTube in the future, or maybe I I find a different career path. Who knows? Maybe she falls in love with someone else. But the thing is, we're human, and situations change. You got to be willing to change with the times too, and you got to be willing to change with the person. Now. For the most part, and I've heard this in the past, I don't know if it's true 100%, but most women go into a relationship thinking that they can change the man, and most men go into a relationship thinking that the woman will never change. I heard that somewhere, I don't know if it's 100% true, but it's neither true on both sides, because we all change. Now we get stuck in our mindset saying, I'm a punk rocker and this is who I am and I'll never change. Anarchy, down with the government. That could probably change. Give it seven years. If it's if it's still a thing after seven years of time, maybe it's a part of you. Maybe that's who you are. But it could still change. And that's one of the great things about being human, being us, is change, you know? Maybe you don't like being a skateboarder right now. But maybe you want to become a skateboarder. So you're eventually going to try. And maybe you become a really good skateboarder. And then eventually you just stop because you found something else to do. It, it happens. I used to break dance. I know a lot of comments are coming in right now. <gasps> no, 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 no. I, I did. I, I was a break dancer. In fact, I was part of a crew called Ill Motions. <sighs> we, we were a bunch of dorks. And we bought jumpsuits. <laughs> Anyhow, I was a 6'2 white guy who had moves. That's crazy. <laughs> so, and, and I mean, it's not really crazy in these times, like 2021, but I mean, back in like 1996, it wasn't normal. 1998, that, that wasn't normal. But it was different, you know? And I'm not the same person I was whenever I was in high school. I'm not the same person I was when I was in the Marine Corps. I'm not the same person that I was whenever I was working as a correctional officer. Change. It happens. Now, I don't feel any different than I did when I was 19, 20 years old. I mean, I still feel that young. I'm 39 right now. But it doesn't feel 39. Now, my body says different. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I'm young! And my body's like, no, you're not. <laughs> It happens. But at the same time, I, I know that I might not live till tomorrow. I might not live until next week. But what I do know for sure is I'm putting a message out there right now. Hopefully, hopefully I'll live, live until the end of this video and get it uploaded. But I don't want it to seem like a dismal place the, the the world is not a dismal place it's a it's a world of wonder and awesomeness and people are awesome you right there talking talking to you are awesome hold on let can i can i get up on personal and serious here for a second there you right now watching this video you are an amazing person and you, if you think differently, if you're telling yourself, no, I'm not good. I'm like everyone else. No, you're not. You're an individual person who is an amazing, uh, uh, just like you don't understand how cool you are. And I want you to understand that. 
If you're a parent watching this right now and you've been through a divorce, it's rough. It's hard. If you, I'll fade back over. You, you don't want to see this. This is me. If you are a parent who's been through a divorce and it was a rough divorce, it feels like your world is ripped out from under you and it feels like nothing's ever going to be better. It does get better. I've talked to many people who have been through divorces. It gets better. If you've been through a separation where you got hurt really bad, it gets better. Don't ever think that that's the end of the world, that that's the end of the line. You don't know what you're going to do. You don't know how to live without the other person. You can live without the other person. You were an independent person before you got into a relationship. You can be an independent person after a relationship. If you, if you are married right now and you're going through a rough patch, or if, you, if you're thinking about leaving the other person, talk to them openly. Honestly, tell them what you feel. Guys, girls, all of you, even the LGBT, YQ, plus community. If you're in a relationship and you don't feel appreciated or you feel like the other person isn't putting the same effort in, talk to the other person. Because we're all human. We make mistakes. We're dumb. Especially guys. And I can speak for like the entire guy race. We are emotional. We have the same kind of feelings. But you know what? We're men. We don't express them as much. And that's the way it is. Because that's the way the world sees it. But it's not true. We have just as deep, just as meaningful emotions as everyone else. And they're valid. Don't you ever think for a second that a man's opinions or um, emotions don't matter. That's that's the worst. That's the worst. <sighs> We've only been recording for 17 minutes, but I feel like it's it's been an eternity since we just started. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the video. I wanted I wanted to get the the ice wood sold off and talk very deeply and meaningfully about divorce and about marriage and about relationships because I feel like my wife and me, we have a really good relationship and we've talked about it. We've said, hey, what happens if we ever get a divorce? Or like, who's taking the kids? Are we gonna let them choose who to go with? Do we wanna separate them? Are we gonna live a separate lives from each other? Will we still see the kids? And we've come down to it. If we do ever get separated, like my wife will probably take the kids and we will probably buy a duplex where we live in the same house, but two separate houses that are, I'll buy a house right next to them because I still want to be part of my kids' lives. So if you're living in a single household, uh, single parent household, and you think that the other parent doesn't want you at all, that's not true. That like they, you are still their child. And parents who are separated from their children, you're still their parent. Do what's best for the child. Do what's best for them. But don't take it out on them. Don't use that as a leverage. That's, mm -mm. that just doesn't feel right. Anyhow, that's getting <sighs> deep. So the, the conversation for today was much deeper than I had planned on doing. In fact, I was just planning on, on razzing on, uh, on Jack, who, by the way, I don't want to admit it, but fine, Jack. You were right. Yesterday's video. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Ashley Morales. Morales? Thank you for the subscribe. Where was I? Jack. Jack UK. You were right. Aiden. Thank you. Thank you for the subscribe. Why is everybody subscribing like right now? Do you guys just see that I'm inside Roblox and you're like, hey, subscribe? Um. No. The. <sighs> <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Maybe all the subscribers are just coming in now. Like this is this is a catch up of the day. We got another one. One more. Oh, thank you, uh, Balkan Gaming. What in the world? <laughs> Jack was right. I hate to admit that he was right. The clickbait from yesterday it worked. I didn't want it to work, 
In fact, I was very upset. And you know what? I'm not going to say that because nobody's no nobody's going to scoff at getting views. But I put an anime girl on the thumbnail, and more people clicked it because it was an anime girl. I'm going to have to come up with something for today's thumbnail. Like I haven't I haven't made it yet. Hopefully, it'll be something catchy. Uh, and it, it will definitely pertain to something about relationships and divorce and something like that. But I, I hope it's not as shocking for tomorrow as it, is, as it was today. Because that was, I was surprised when I saw that many views within the first hour. Like, <sighs> I don't want to clickbait. I'm not a clickbaiter. I'm not going to clickbait. Maybe I'll clickbait. Is it a little, a little bit? No, don't clickbait. See the internal conflict that I'm having right now? This is all part of that relationship inside my own head thing going on. Anyhow, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate, which wasn't really about Lumber Tycoon 2, but it's still me playing and relaxing and having fun. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good human being, or like a good YouTuber does. And we'll talk to you soon. Steven, are you in a relationship? No? Well, yeah, there, there was... Yeah, did that... True, true. Oh, have you ever been married? Never been married. Yeah, you're pretty young, so that's cool. Um, we're going to do an outro, so can we go ahead and just do the, the thing? I'll say it. I'll say it. All right, get ready. Ready? <sighs> outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.